So, morning of day two. Camped out here. It's a little bit muddy. It's a lot muddy in the water. It's a dry muddy on the shore. I think everybody did just fine though. All the boats are where they need to be. Doesn't seem like the barges pushed anybody in, out, or broken. Enough to be a problem. Here's Sean. And there's some training over there with the Rambos and Paul about Navionics and what to look for and how to move things. Maybe how to track themselves. They probably like to track themselves. This is their first time well, doing this one. It's kind of fun. Cut off a little bit. Give us some room. Getting shallower. We didn't have the head so tackle. That is Hap's cut right there. That's where we spent night two last year. So Merlin's racing Ishmael. We just passed breaking wind. Now we did. It looks like we're making time on them. And they're full sail. It's a pretty boat. chicken. Tribute to, in tribute to uh, 2019 Texas 200. We just passed breaking wind. Yeah, we did. We just passed breaking wind. <laughs> Yeah. 
progress. Merlin to Ishmael, meet me on 70, 68, Merlin to Ishmael, 68. Hey, where we stayed sailing, it was just five and a half to six foot deep and fine, if you can follow that line. Yeah, high tide maybe. Our Navionic shows us slightly further to the side than we are by a few feet, so. Yeah, high tide was like 1.30 or something today, I think. Good luck. 10-4. Good luck. Sideways, which you will here very soon. These cool little islands, spoil islands, all of them have the little, little cabins on them and shit. It's been blustery, man. We're, uh, we're towards the north side of Baffin Bay. It's been pretty, pretty sketchy. Opposite of Bob and Bake, that's a fact. So going around all these little islands, the uh, the wind kind of whips around them, so it's better for a little while. You're doing five knots, and then then instantly you're doing six again and heeled over. But it's really cool, really cool area here.
Well, we've been here before. Break time, baby! We're kind of both in our underwear, which is called swimwear. 